Jay Lama here, and welcome back to episode 17 on our Ark Survival Ascended playthrough on the island, official PvE on Xbox. Now, we're back here over at the water base, and why are we here today? Well, we're here today because it is time to do hard water. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, let's just have a look at the map, and I'll show you. Um, so here we are. This is where our water base is. It is above the Easy Water Cave, um, which is sort of just up here a bit uh, on the western side of the map. The Hard Water Cave is all the way over here on the eastern side of the map, um, sort of around about this area here. So we got a bit of a journey. So it's going to take us a hot minute to get around there, but that's okay. Um, we'll uh, take the basil out for a run, see if we come across any alphas or anything like that on the way. All right, here we go. So coming up to, I think this is the entrance to the cave. It's quite well lit. <clears throat> yep, pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is it. Here we go. All right. Um, now, oh, of course, we've attracted the attention of a plezzy because, like, that's what happens. <laughs> These things. I've killed, like... 30 of these things on the way. They always travel in pairs. Oh, we got a bit of an entourage, actually. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sure these things are no issue compared to what we're about to face in the cave. A level 15 Megalodon, I will take any day over a level 300. <laughs> chomp, 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 before the plezzy eats it and heals. I uh, don't even know if we were hitting that guy, actually. Alright, well, I was, gonna, I was just going to bring you back at the entrance to the cave, show you the map, and then head in. I wasn't really expecting to do this. <laughs> here we go. Right, anyway, back to plan A. Uh, so, here we go. This is where we are, 45.295.8, the coordinates. Um, and you can see the arrow, as I mentioned, on the uh, far right uh, eastern side of the map, about midway up, uh, is where you will find the entrance to the cave. Uh, now, what else? Um, uh, look, this this time round, I'm gonna I'll leave a link up the top to the full. Oh, we got another megalodon. Of course we do. Um, I'll leave a link up the top to the full cave run through that I did. Um, it uh, covers all the explorer notes and um, some of the loot crate locations and artifact and so on. But as per normal on this playthrough today, we're just going to be focusing on getting in, getting the artifact and getting back out again. Um, hopefully with our lives intact. Now I have brought a chibi with me. Um, now this chibi is, I have leveled this up, killed a few alphas with it. Um, I actually killed a 130 alpha squid, um, which gave this a massive boost uh, and got me up to my next level. So I've, I've now started accumulating XP again, which is brilliant. So um, we're on our way to 107, uh, but we've got another few levels on the chibi before we can get to the max of 110. Uh, and yeah, you gotta. I've done that with another character, and it's a hard slog. You gotta kill a lot of alphas. But in this cave, you get level 250, level 300 uh, alpha megalodons. Uh, I believe you get alpha squid and alpha moses in here. Um, again, up to level 300. But I'm gonna be honest, after the pasting I took from the 130, if I come across a level 300 mosa or squid uh, alpha, um, I'm out of there because there's no way I'm surviving that, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but an alpha shark, um, as long as there aren't too many other alpha boosted creatures at the same time, um, should be manageable. All right, so we're in the cave. Notice the water clears up a bit as you get in the cave. So we are wearing our scuba mask that's um, necessary to get us around the map uh, and to this point. But um, once you're in the cave, it clears up whether you're wearing scuba or not, which is uh, which makes the cave a little more manageable. Um, I had a few comments in my easy water video about um, being able to remove the fog um, and using the console command so that the water clears. Uh, yep, I, I've 
I have used that on my other um, on my PC character playthrough. Um, I also have shadows turned down on that one uh, because, uh, well, quite frankly, my PC is not very good, so it doesn't. Uh, uh, I mean, it's okay. It's just not Arc good, um, so it doesn't run Arc terribly well. Um, so I try to get as much performance out of it as I can by turning shadows off. That has the other um, added uh, benefit, I guess you could call it, of clearing up the water. Uh, but on this playthrough, I've really tried to not do that, um, anything like that, uh, which would, you know, removing the fog or um, any such things that would kind of be a little bit cheaty. Um, I mean, if... Uh, uh, I'm a big believer on you play the game how you want to play the game so um, just because I call it cheaty doesn't mean I think anyone else is cheating by doing it um, <clears throat> it's just the term I use <laughs> uh, so I mean no offence to those who um, who do turn off the fog uh, if that's your thing then you play the game how you want to play it that's, uh, that's perfectly fine but I really did uh, want to keep it as sort of I suppose vanilla as possible um, hence why I haven't uh, done it on here all right, we've got a few megs here. Um, this cave may take a little while to do uh, because uh, depending on how much stuff we come across, um, but really this cave's made or broke on um, alphas. So you can see here, we've got these megalodons. These are all regular megalodons um, and yeah, they're okay. Uh, down there, we've got some donkeys. Uh, we've got, what have we got, 260. Um, we've got some high levels here, we've got some low ones too, what, 180, um, 270, yeah. So I really don't want them, they take a chunk. Um, the, if you avoid them, uh, and I'll probably mention this in the other playthrough as well, um, in the other cave tour, but if you do avoid them and just stick away from them, uh, they won't aggro on you. The problem with donkeys is if you hit one, they will all swarm you. Um, the other problem with donkeys is if you are fighting an alpha, uh, they will also all swarm you, obviously. Um, not just donkeys, but that happens with anything. So uh, we really want to cut some of the levels of 290 Manta, 300 Anglerfish. <laughs> um, we really want to, uh, whilst I do want an alpha because I want to level up Chibi, um, I'm also cautious of the fact that where we find that alpha is really important because if we can uh, get it away from the clumps of donkeys, uh, that would be preferable. Uh, and a good way of telling if you've got an alpha coming up is look at the creatures in front of you and see if any of them are alpha boosted. None of these are. So I'm going to assume that in this entrance we do not have an alpha. Uh, here we've got, oh, we've got a couple of sharks. I don't know where they came from. Only level 50, and what are you? Oh, only a level 270, okay. <laughs> uh, so this is the same, this is gonna be a bit of a click fest, so I'm gonna kind of talk through it. Um, this is the same uh, Basilo that we took in Easy Water. Oh, another 270. All right, we're getting a few decent level Megalodons around here. Where, what happened to the other one? I don't know, or is that the same one? Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the same uh, bass load that I took through Easy Water. Um, I don't even, I think it might have had one, maybe it got a level out of the two, so actually thinking about it. Um, yeah, here come the sharks. Uh, so it's got around about 50k health, it's got 600 and something melee. Um, another tip that I shared in the other video is this cave. This cave, if you go barreling in, you'll get swarmed. So you think about all the megalodons that we've hit so far. If they all hit you at once, um, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, um, we're not hitting this guy, so we're going to have to move. So for me, the key to success in this cave really is enter the cave very slowly, um, bit by bit, and just allow the stuff to come to you. So don't bother barreling in there and go try and attack everything. Um, just nudge your way into the cave, little by little, and you can see, I mean, just from this area, how many megalodons have approached us while I've been sitting here, um, you know, jaw flapping uh, and um, chatting away. 
uh, that's an indication of if you swam all the way into here, <laughs> you would then get mobbed by all of the megalodons that we've just killed on the way through <clears throat> all at once. All right, so we're going to nudge our way around the corner here. Uh, we usually got, um, I think we're okay for down there, but we've usually got another fleet of megalodons <laughs> coming uh, as we get around this corner. Um, let's see. Right, we've got some eels. We get dispatch them. A lot of eels. So we're okay health-wise. Like I said, um, we've uh, this this guy's got 50k health. Um, so we've got a pretty decent health pool. Uh, let's just have a quick squeeze at uh, 673 melee. Sorry, um, and we do have a 124 saddle here um, that I picked up in easy water. So. Uh, that was that's an improvement on I think when we did the easy water run through I had like a 90 or 94 saddle it was something like that um, and on one of the easy water runs I got myself a 124 uh, Basilo saddle um, I actually got two so I've got a spare not that I'm hoping I'm not going to need a spare um, but um, but yeah I've, I did run that cave a few times okay so here is a Manta, you can see the yellow arrow, so that's a level 300 Manta, great for starters. The yellow arrow indicates it is alpha boosted. So I know that in here somewhere, over maybe over in that direction, is an alpha of some description. Uh, now I'm kind of hoping it's a Megalodon. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, it's a level 40. All right. Uh, never mind. That's not that good. All right, so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna take this guy here because uh, I'm hoping oh there are donkeys that's a shame. <laughs> All right oh there's a few oh there's a few oh there are oh there's a lot. Okay. All right you know what um oh this could kind of, this could turn south fairly quickly so let's just try. Well, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's hardly worth it for a level 40, um... <laughs> for a level 40 alpha. I'm not exactly going to get myself a nice boost out of that, am I? Uh, alright. I'm kind of thinking maybe we head back out. It's going to aggro all the donkeys at the other end, though. Alright. Plan B strategy. Now we're just going for the artifact. So I'm going to just swim through here quickly. So this is the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> I'm going to swim through here quickly and I'm going to head straight down into the artifact chamber. I've got a bit of stamina to burn, so I'm good. And I don't think all these things are going to follow me down here because it's quite a tight hole. I don't know how art pathfinding has improved in underwater creatures, but I'm guessing they're not going to navigate that. So there we go. You can always run away. Hopefully. All right, there's a donkey 110. Um, so in, uh, and again, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I would have mentioned it. Oh, hello. Okay, I didn't really. I obviously just got too close to him. I didn't actually expect him to attack. All right, we can take him out. He's not even mate boosted. He's a 110. It's fine. Uh, now, the issue that we just created outside, we'll have to deal with on the way out, obviously. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they're not all sitting right outside the entrance waiting for me. All right. So now, different to um, ASE. Oh, we've got a loot crate there. Let's grab that before we go any further, actually. Nice. Every now and again a loot crate will spawn here. You also get piranha spawn in here, so you do have to be careful. Probably a good idea to hop off, hop back on again, see if anything aggros. Uh, you can get uh, jellyfish in the wall as well. <laughs> this area is great for that.
All right, let's see. Let's grab this. Uh, okay. Well, not really all that useful, to be fair. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's what it is. All right, let's head into this back chamber. So I think I was saying on ASE, uh, usually all the bad stuff is in this bit. Um, but when we get into the next, into the artifact chamber on ASA, that's where all the bad things are. So you generally find very little in this chamber. Um, and in the next one is where all the stuff is. Um, probably makes it easier for the strategy that I just applied, uh, whereby you just kind of barrel through. Um, and then that first chamber, uh, you can actually just get into there, chill out, um, recover health if you need to, uh, before you come in here. So we can see in here, no alphas in here. Uh, we do have some high levels though. We've got uh, 250, we got a 280, we got a 260, um, and we got a 120, a couple of lower level ones. Uh, don't know what that other guy is, but uh, yeah, a few sharks. Gonna take a little bit of damage here, but I'm not too concerned. Um, because none of them are alpha boosted and this guy's got a lot of health so um, I did level this Basilo up uh, with 50k health. I probably didn't need that much health. I probably could have put more in melee to be fair um, but uh, anyway, is what it is. Alright, that seems to be everything. We've got all the donkeys, uh, the mantas, we had some of those Eurypterid, the little uh, sleepy scorpions uh, that uh, put you to sleep, the underwater ones. And I think we're good. Um, haven't seen any jellyfish in here creeping out of the walls. All right, let's hop off, hop back on again. That'll tell me if there's anything that's just going to aggro on the player that wouldn't have aggroed on the Basilo, just in case. Now then we're good. Let's grab the artifact. And that is the artifact of the cunning. Back on the Basilo. Now we took a bit of a beating there. Uh, we, <laughs> we lost 20k health. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, and so outside waiting for us, <laughs> we have an alpha shark, which is only a level 40. But we got like 750 high level donkeys <laughs> and some sharks. So I'm not going to lie, I'm going to heal up before I even entertain the thought of heading back out of this cave. Because if I do get caught, um, I'm going to need as much health as possible. Uh, if, if I get caught by that crew that stopped us on the way in, uh, I don't think I will survive, honestly. If I get swamped by them, and can't move that's why I chose to uh, run away <laughs> when we were uh, on our way in so I'm not gonna lie uh, yeah killing those probably not an option uh, running away from them probably our best bet uh, but just in case I do get stuck because I don't know where they are they may all be clumped right outside the entrance and I might not be able to get out um, then uh, I'm gonna fully heal this guy and uh, I'll bring you back when that's done because that's going to take a while. All right. Well, oh, gee, that's taken a good 20 to 25 minutes, I can say. Um, uh, glad I paused the video where I did. And we've run out of meat and we've just cracked 40k. So uh, we didn't get fully healed and uh, we're just chomping down, chowing down on the last of this fish meat that we've got. Um, and then basically we're done. Uh, and we'll head out, I guess. Um, so on the way out, um, it's been a little while. As I said, uh, we've been in here for a bit. Uh, let's kind of grab those black pearls. Uh, we'll keep the angler gel because I'm using that to light torches. Uh, I don't reckon I need any of the rest of that. Oh, no. We'll drop all of that so that we've got as much weight reduced as possible. Um, and we can head back out of the cave. I didn't bring the otter with me. So normally I would bring the otter. Uh, you can see the artifact hasn't respawned. That's because we were sitting right on top of it. So I'm fairly confident I could swim over here. Oh, is that donkey respawned while we've been there? 
That's unusual. That does not normally happen. Well, I'm going to try and avoid her. There you go. So the moment we moved away from the artifact, it has respawned. Um, I didn't bring the otter, so I can't grab another artifact, which means I've got to come back another couple of times into this cave. But that's okay. I'm sort of... Uh, you know, if we, um, as long as we don't get stuck, like, we're okay. And um, and to be honest, I kind of want to level my chibi up a bit. Uh, that's not going to happen with a level 40 alpha megalodon, <laughs> I've got to be honest. So the, uh, the one waiting for us outside is not going to be of that much use. Um, so to get out, I'm thinking we're just going to run. Uh, now, I've got my stamina maxed i'm not sprinting at the moment uh, because i'm going to save my stamina for when we come across all the nasty stuff now the guys that were chasing me right to this doorway yep they look like they've gone uh what have we got there uh, okay that's just a normal meg that's not an alpha uh, let's see. Should we kill him? As long as the alpha's not here. What's this, a 260? Unless we can kill this. It's not alpha boosted, so the alpha isn't real close. Uh, here comes another megalodon. They're obviously both males because they're all oh, level 300 super. Here comes another one. All right. Now, this is where we need to watch, to be honest, because if they keep coming, uh, then, okay, now they're mate boosted. So this one's obviously a female um, and we're lagging. That's a 170. So we just need to keep an eye out. If too many of these come, then we're going to have to make a run for it because I don't want to get mobbed by level 300 megalodons. Uh, and especially, to be honest, if that alpha turns up, that's when our day is going to get real bad. Okay, level 300 has decided he's going to take a break. What's that anglerfish? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, right, well, okay, yeah, do you know what, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to wait for it to come back, um, we'll just head out, it's not going to, it's not going to help me at all, by killing it, uh, what have we got here, this one, okay, that's alpha boosted, that's a 180, is it still alpha boosted? Oh, there's the alpha. Okay. And that means we're out of here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Back at base. Now, I brought back some fish meat to chuck in this tech trough that I've put here beneath the stairs because I'm raising a couple of new baryonics. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, so we've got to do hard ice. Now, of course, we have... Barry White, which, who, I should say, I'm going to take in the hard ice cave with me. Uh, but let's see, where are you, Barry? Not there. Uh, there we go, Barry White. Now, Barry, whilst dear to our hearts hasn't been used for anything yet so i did put the uh, 124 saddle that i got uh, on him um but level wise i've leveled him up he's got 10k health he's got 786 melee uh i'm not confident that's good enough for hard ice <laughs> so we'll see how we go i'm gonna take him through the swamp cave um, and try and get some levels on him, although he's been cryo-leveling for a while, so I'm not sure we'll get too much out of the Swamp Cave, but we'll see how we go. Um, and then as a backup, I do have uh, some better stat baryonics raising, 
Uh, these are 50% imprinted now. Uh, and again, um, these are from ones that I've tamed uh, myself, so these aren't you know Facebook purchases or anything like that. No trades done. Um, but, uh, but they are kind of okay stat-wise. All right, here we go. So let's head through around to where the Swamp Cave is. Uh, hopefully we don't get thylid on the way. No, looks like we're good. All right, here's the entrance to Swamp. Let's whack our gas mask on. Uh, we've only got a few health brews, but we do have some custom food, which will help heal us as well. Uh, but this is really just about leveling the Baryonyx, to be honest. We'll grab the artifact while we're in here. We've only got, um, I think we've only got two. Uh, we've got some, some of the locals in here. Um, we've only got two um, uh, of the artifacts from the previous runs that we've done through here. So it wouldn't hurt to get some more. Uh, but really, I'm trying to level up this Baryonyx and I'm hoping... Oh, there's no... there's nothing in here. This is normally full. Maybe someone's just been through here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, it's feeling like someone's been through here or someone's already in here. I've probably timed this rather poorly. Uh, okay, I can hear some stuff. Hmm. Come to the last chamber. That'll tell us, because if there's someone camping out in here looking for drops... Well, there's a drop there, so... Can't be anyone camping out. That's weird. Well, that's a shame, because I was really hoping we'd uh, get a lot of high-level spiders and so on in here, and we could level up our Baryonyx, but it's looking like that's not going to be the case. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that drops back. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There's our second 124 Rex saddle. Is that one any better? Hey, that's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a shame we crafted all our Rex saddles already. Now, this is where I was kind of hoping that um, I would have had the pike just in case but we don't so we're just going to grab the artifact and then run back out again okay well there we go so that was what did we do we did hard water cave uh we um we swam in there we fought some stuff we ran away from some stuff um we managed to get ourselves the artifact of the cunning uh, which is now the third of the four artifacts that we need to do the dragon boss. Um, that last vacant pedestal at the end there is for the artifact of the strong. That's the last one we need, which is in the hard ice cave. So we've got that cave coming up soon. Uh, now, what else do we do? We've got uh, for hard ice, I've got a couple of baryonics that I'm raising at the moment. And we've got, of course, Barry White um, MVP. So Barry White, uh, we took through the swamp cave to try and get some more levels on um, we only got one because the cave was kind of empty which was a bit of a shame but we did get a 124 ascendant um uh, rex blueprint which is like half the cost of the one that uh, we already had which is awesome um unfortunately i've crafted uh, all the saddles at the moment so uh but if i need some more then this bp is going to be a lot cheaper than the previous one so uh so that was a pretty good score pretty happy with that um so look i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you got something out of the video if you did maybe drop me a like um subscribe if you haven't already and uh, and leave me a comment like i, I love uh, getting comments i don't um always get the opportunity re to reply but i do try to where i can um so uh we've got a uh, next video coming up 
Oh, I don't know. We've got a bit to do. We've got to either... We've got Alpha Brood we need to do. Um, we have, obviously, we have the Hard Ice Cave to do. Um, that's the other thing. And then we've got to start doing Dragon Fights before we can move on to the Tech Cave and the Overseer. So we've got a lot to do. So I'm looking forward to catching you in the next video. I'm Llama, and I'm out of here.